Right, it is 9th of December, so second morning in a row with a frost. Down about minus one last night, around zero to minus one. Here in the UK where I am, on the east coast. And uh, let's have a quick look in the arid shelter. So we've got agaves and aeoniums and things like that, which you'd think need to be brought in or at least brought into a greenhouse or whatever. That, but I find as long as they're kept frost free, they seem to be okay. <clears throat> along with all the cacti and things even stuff in pots as long as you can keep the the wet off them they seem to be okay so let's have a look from the other side so we are frosted on the front of this even though it is a clear plastic and we can see the elephant ears frosted and eggs gonna now die down <coughs> But inside, obviously the frost has not hit anything in here. Even got a clump of Washingtonia robusta in a pot there. Again, just underneath the overhang of the, the shelter, so it seems to be okay. So yeah, all the cacti now, as long as they're dry, they seem to be okay. But as we can see, Another frost. So I did have a comment on one of the other videos I've done this week about I think someone said they had a small cord line whether it's worth protecting it. I think that's the, the red star. So that's the red version which is not quite as hardy as the as the Australis, which is the plain green, which we can see at the back there. So <clears throat> This will go with palms, cord lines, or any sort of half hardy or tender plant that uh, should be hardy to certain temperatures. I always say, I always err on the side of caution. So anything that which is, if you could say, almost hardy down to minus five, for instance. Well, yeah. Technically, the plant may be hardy to minus five when it's fully grown and acclimatized to the environment it's living in. But a lot of these plants, if you, especially if you buy a small, um, they're not going to be the same hardiness as a acclimatized, fully grown plant. So, and I'll give you an example. I've got some small cordyline australis which I grown from seed um, probably two years ago now so these ones have been out for last last winter and they'll be out this winter as well and I expect them to be fully hardy even at this small size because that's the way I've grown them um, if you bought a small cordyline from a garden centre and planted it this year you get a few harsh frost like we've had and it could die whereas these plants have been lived their whole lives in this environment so they're acclimatised to it so they're going to be that bit hardy even though it's exactly the same plant it is going to be considerably hardier than one that's been reared in a greenhouse and sort of force grown if you like so even though these are probably two and a half years old and main, you know you, you probably could grow them bigger and faster in the perfect conditions these have been hard grown as I call it where you know you pamper these plants too much and they're just going to die on you over winter so I like to treat, treat them mean so that's an example there and also another good example of these small pot of palms I've got just underneath this uh, shelter here so it's a bit of a double whammy here so we've got the shelter so it keeps them dry and then we've got them on concrete slabs so obviously that does 
the concrete does absorb a little bit of heat during the day with the sun hitting them even though it's not quite there yet um, that will slowly release a little bit of heat overnight so that's gonna give them a little bit more of a chance but these are all Trachycarpus uh, canariensis and Dectolifera which I've grown from seed myself and again these have been hard grown these have been outside this is the first winter they've been outside fully exposed um, before I've just had them in sort of uh, cold frames but this year they're sort of open to the elements a bit more so we're going to that next level of hardening off so next year they'll be totally fine to be out in the open and I believe they'll be a lot hardier than anything you can buy which has obviously been force grown or grown in a perfect environment so the point of the video is you see a lot of posts on social media and people saying oh why are you protecting that plant that's hardy well again technically a plant may be hardy but again and I'll use this as an example this boot year odorata I bought this year on paper debatable minus five to minus seven hardiness but this has been grown probably south of Europe either Spain or Italy or somewhere like that and it's probably been greenhouse grown so the chances are you can knock several degrees off that hardiness level it's not going to be as hardy as a plant which is totally what's the word totally uh, acclimated to the environment which you're going to grow it in so again any new plants we talk about hardened plants off and we always think of spring you know when you bring them outside and harden them off to the sun and outside environment but some plants are going to be long term hardened off um, so we've got a selection of small palms here for instance again if you uh, brought these as they are from a garden centre or online shop the chances are they haven't been grown outside in winter so you're going to have to harden them off and this can take two or three years these palms in particular in this centre bed have all been out for four winters and this year they're totally unprotected the last few winters I have put a a cover over them so they've had the cold they, and they had a little bit of uh, airflow a bit of wind chill but they're not been fully exposed so this year they're gonna be so we'll see if uh, the patience and the time sort of slowly getting them used to this winter environment has paid off but so again if someone says why are you protecting that plant that's hardy well that's quite a naive thing to say because one there's a lot of different environments within the UK and um, some places are wetter some are drier some are a lot colder inland maybe or up north to coastal so that's a very naive thing to say is why are you protecting this plant it's totally hardy you can't say that because everyone's environment is different every plant situation is different where you've got it from how long it's been in that environment for so again do what you think is best if you think something's going to need protecting then protect it it's best to be a little bit cautious for the first year or two and protect something rather than invest a lot of money in a plant and it die on you in the first winter so again not particularly attractive all these sort of shelters for some of these bigger palms but these these are fairly new palms and I'm not going to risk investing a lot of money in a plant and letting it die in the first winter so next year depending on the amount of damage if any that these take so I have left some fronds sticking out with the shelter 
So it will depend on how much damage them ones, them particular fronds take. It'll give me an idea of how hardy this plant is going to be. So that depends whether I need to protect it next year or whether I leave it to the elements. And we all know that every winter can be different. Um, you never know exactly what each season is going to bring. So yeah, I think any considerable expensive purchase, you do need to think about what you're going to do. Whether it's just uh, the first couple of winters just to give it a little bit of protection or... But again, on the other side of that, the flip side, is you can cause more harm than good by protecting the plant if you do it wrong. Um, so it may work in a dry environment if you box something totally in and keep it sort of sealed and even put Christmas lights around it or whatever, a lot, a lot of people do. Um, that works fine in a, a dry environment or you, if you can keep it dry but some plants don't like being sealed in and they, they will just get rot or just not you know you're going to set it back if it not kill it so think about how you can protect something whether it's just a temporary measure when it's a, a frost or whether it's going to be a permanent sort of winter fixture like some of these shelters are for me so we've got the power jabaya trellii here um so i've had this this will be the third winter now so first winter it was kept in the summer house and at that point i weren't heating the summer house so it was unheated but just sort of kept so obviously it warms up a bit during the day in there and then it still gets cold at night so that's the first winter and it did take a bit of damage on some of the fronds and we have still got a couple of the old fronds on here where they sort of browned off at the tips second winter which was last winter i built a full shelter over this center bed and that was covered in that and it didn't really take too much damage so this year we've got um walled in three sides but still got a side open for airflow and whatnot so what this is doing again is this exposing it gently to a full exposed position i mean it's in the center of the garden so it's going to be the windiest fully exposed no no shelter whatsoever from any canopy so yeah over the next year or two the idea is this for this plant to be acclimatized enough for it to be left unprotected so yeah so this year is like uh, the final stage if you like where i'm just keeping it a little bit drier and just keeping that frost off but again it's open to this side to the element so it's still going to get the cold winds so again over the that period you know at the end of this winter and into spring we'll we'll have a good look way up any damage to each individual plant that you're protecting and and see if there is any damage and suit your protection next year to the amount of damage that your plant has taken so I can see that these are probably old fronds on this boot here, but um, there's a little bit of spotting on these. But we're, we've only just come into winter, so we, we'll look at that properly at the end of winter and then make a call of whether we're going to need to protect this particular plant next year or whether you deem that that's not really taken much damage. I'll be happy to leave that open to the elements next year. So again, don't listen to people if they say don't protect that plant, it doesn't need it because only you can make that call. That's your investment, that's your plant, that's your choice to protect something if you want to. And I always say, come back to the tree ferns. I very, very rarely protect these. It's a bit of a waste of time trying to protect the fronds because if they're gonna, if it's cold enough for them to brown off, they're gonna do that. Um, and the chances are if you wrap them up all winter they're, they're going to brown off anyway in my opinion depending on how you do it 
so again for tree ferns unless it's sort of more minus four minus five i won't bother protecting these whatsoever i'll just if we do get a, a cold snap which is going to last three or four nights of minus four minus five then get that fleece or straw in there but again up to the individual make your calls on what plants if you want to take the gamble and say right well you know we're gonna we we brought this plant reduced it was cheap i'm not too fussed we'll see what happens then you know that's the gamble you're taking if it, if it pays off then you know that next year that plant's gonna be a little bit harder and you can uh, sort of rest assured so i'll go back to this particular plant which is uh called line superstar which is similar to the, the red star but a lot wider glossier leaves and i brought this particular plant um this is the second second winter third winter i forget but yeah so i brought this late spring when we had some late frost and that was reduced because that took damage to the leaves so the damage that sort of that does these are old fronds but that's a sort of similar damage what you'll see um you will get some browning on the tips of the leaves or maybe the whole leaf but last year i did have a again just a, a, a shelter over the top just to stop the frosts and this took no damage whatsoever so it's still getting the cold winds and the cold temperatures but just that overhead protection so this year fully exposed we're going to see what happens because i have got another one the other side of the garden which was totally exposed which is a smaller specimen in this and uh, that took no damage either so again just uh, another good rule if i'm just to you know if you're walking your dog or just out for a stroll down your, your local area then see what other plants that are growing there which seem to be grown happily with no protection and and that's a good rule to, to see how hardy plants are going to be in your area but again if you think if you have to ask the question do i need to protect this the chances are probably yes all right i think we'll leave it there just my thoughts on protecting plants whether you need to or not and uh, yeah if in doubt just do it thanks for watching